There's a TMDL, total maximum daily load, it has to do with nutrient loading. There is an upper and lower minimum flows and levels on our particular river <laughs> and NFL. There is a basin management action plan that is right now being decided in a, in a court ruling, uh, a BMAP. There is an outstanding Florida Waters, which has been around a long time, an LFW. There is an out, uh, outstanding Florida Springs, OFS, which I was doing now. A priority focus area, very new, last year. And a water resource caution area that we somehow got into a discussion recently. We want it to be a planning area, where it's actually in our district, it is a caution area in our in our Santa Fe River Basin. A planning, a planning document, 20 year planning document, 20 year. The reason why this permit is is expired in June of this year is because it was 20 years. Permits don't last forever. Planning documents don't last forever. Things change. 20 years ago, we are so different today. And now, if you have it in front of you, we have the Springs and Aquifer Protection Act. And that's dealing with the Devil's Ear Conference. Somebody asked me that uh, just today. How like, come Jim Springs has been in that document? It is. It's under the Devil's Ear Complex. And so I stand here before you today because we have all these legislative guidelines rules, regulations, to deny this type of water use permit when it comes in front of you. Deny Seven Springs Water Company from getting this permit to sell it to somebody else. It happens to be Nestle in this case. They've done it before. This, those companies have come and gone. Don't you wonder why they've come and gone? Why nobody's there forever? I've often wondered that. I don't have the answer to that, but it is a, a, a big, wide open question. Why would they just stay if they were making all, all that kind of money? Why would the CCPA stay forever? Why did they just suddenly come to the other way? And then Ice River Springs comes in. Why did they stay? They just up and left too. And now Nestle comes in because Nestle wants to bulk transfer that water to their other facilities. Why do I know that? Because that's what they're doing right now. They are building a wider ingress and egress. They are building a bulk transfer station for fresh water. They are building a bulk transfer, sta tra bulk transfer station for wastewater. Wastewater. Going, but they have a wastewater component to this plant. Mm -hmm. Why do they want a bulk transfer? Because we just heard from John Cordman, Nestle at Madison Blue has problems with their water. Are they associated with the Bell Dowson wastewater spills where there's E. coli in the water? Probably. Are they associated also down in Zephyr Hills with the water quality down there? They have nitrate loading down there? Probably. High water, low water, flood waters? Definitely. So we're sitting here in a situation where Nestle wants Jenny Springs water, if there's a pipe right into the conduit, they want that water to remove it to satisfy their financial gain. The laws and rules today that you're hearing about with fees and with um, taxes and with other things associated with bottled water, yeah probably a good idea, even though it allows these companies to still come in and bottle water and probably makes it more more uh, interesting to legislators. Like, oh, let's leave the, let's leave these companies exist. Let's give them more permits so then we can make more money. I hope to God that's not what's happening with these companies <coughs> and with these fees. That's not what I want to see, of course, with Jenny Springs. We do not want this permit at Jenny Springs. This is a bad deal for us on the Santa Fe River. We're at a minimum floating level. I would love to say for the workshop today that we're going to be kayak to visit Ising. Kayak to visit Ising. Down to Jenny Springs itself with a great deal of these people. That's partly why you see some of them dressed in their swimsuits today. Because we are actually going to go enjoy the river recreationally. Enjoy the river protest wise with our signs. But you don't see that inside. Um, and, and really honor the springs and the rivers for, the, for us now and for the next generation. And hope that you, when you have this permit in front of you, consider all of these legislative things that you have at your fingertips to allow for your protection and not harm.